interfaces. Let's build some Java interfaces. So to build an interface, you click here, uh, or File, New, and you select Interface. I'm going to call mine uh, Tweetable, and uh, finish, and that's it. Once I have an interface, I can declare the method. So I'm going to say, to be tweetable, you need a method, which is a public string get message. And that's it. And uh, so a tweetable, so tweet it needs to be 140 characters. And I cannot specify that in Java. So I'm going to put that in a comment here. The return string must be less than 140 characters. So this is an interface file. You see it says public interface and then the name. And then it has, the, in this case, one method, signature. You notice there is no code. Right? That's very important. So an interface does not have any code in it. It only has method signatures like this one. So that means, you know, it says public or private, the return type, and uh, the method name, and then any arguments uh, if you have them. In this case, we don't have one. Uh, we can have uh, another one. We can say public um, string get sender. And then let's put a Let's do a get so public void set um, set sender string s. So there you go. That's an interface. And so what this is doing is telling us that if you're going to implement this interface, so if you're writing a class that implements this interface, you have to implement these three methods here. There's no way around it. You have to implement this these three methods. So let's implement that a, such a class. Let's say I want a class called, you know, person. And then uh, a person is going to implement. And I can click Add here and then uh, search for Tweetable. There it is, the Tweetable interface. And you see when it comes up, uh, a lot of stuff got generated, right? Uh, so it says this is a person class. It implements the tweetable interface. And because I said it has to implement tweetable, Eclipse is you know, smart. It says, well, if you're going to implement tweetable, you have to implement get message, get sender, and set sender. You have to do all those three things. And here's just my main, and you know, that's the end. So Eclipse already filled it in. It, you know, put a little to do here, reminding me that you know, generated this. You know, this should not probably not be just return all. There should be something in there, and I should change that. Uh, but that's how it does, and uh, so that, that's how it works. And you can uh, also say I have a, a student which uh, extends person. So student extends person and uh, maybe you know well it could also implement tweetable. Not really, you don't need that because it already extends person. But you can have something like this, right? So you can have a student class that extends a person class and implements an interface. That's fine. Uh, in this case, you see, I didn't get all the methods because uh, the person class already implements the tweetable interface. So it has these methods. So the student class already inherited those methods. So you know it's a bit redundant to have this here. It implements tweetable here for person. I mean for student uh, because he already extends person. But you can have that. Uh, similarly, you can have if you have more than one interface. Let's create a new interface called. Uh, oops, I don't want a class. I want an interface. You gotta click here in the little triangle interface, and uh, uh, we're gonna call this uh, Google Plusable. Google Plusable, not sure. Uh, 
and uh, that one just has you know public string uh, get message. So I have the Google Plusable layer, and now my person implements Tweetable and Google Plusable um, like that. It actually works because um, you know. Let, let's change this one. Uh, get uh, let's not call it message. We're gonna call it get post. And there you see now I got a little X here. It's telling me person. The person must implement the inherited abstract method Google Plusable dot get post, right? Because I'm implementing Google Plusable, I also have to implement get post. So I can just command one here, add on implemented method and uh, scroll down to the end and you see there it is of course i gotta change it to do something smart uh, but that's how we do it and uh if you're wondering these these overrides here these annotations these are java annotations um if you over right here it says indicates that a method declaration is intended to overwrite a method declaration in super class uh so you don't technically need them, but they're very they're useful for uh, both Eclipse and the Java compiler, um, and also Java Doc uses them. So that's what it means. It says that this is a good reminder that it's telling you, okay, this get message is there because it's overriding. And it's actually in this case implementing the the tweetable interface. So that's it.